at Verticon 2025 in Dallas, and Robinson has unveiled the NXG rendition of the R66. What is an NXG? So the NXG is gonna be an update mostly concerned with uh, glass avionics and an interior update. Oh. So all glass cockpit now, no more dials. You've got two Garmin GDU 700Ps here, um, part of a G500H TXI system. Um, so touchscreen displays that now display all of your engine instruments and your PFD um, all in one place. Big update from currently, I know we offer a 700 um, or a 1060 option with some dials around it. But that's going away and it's going to be re replaced by this only. Gotcha. And then you also mentioned uh, other interior updates. It seems um, fancier. Hey, that is exactly the intention. Right here we've got a new seat's shape. We've got some headrests. We've got different leather on it as well. Feels nice. Uh, right. These are going to be some newer colors that are going to be offered as well. So this is an update to the tan. And we're gonna have an update to our gray and our charcoal as stone and graphite respectively. Another thing to note is that air conditioning is now standard on oh. all ships. So it's gonna be a redesigned AC duct. Um, this one actually has an Alcantara wrap on it on those sides and a different switch panel up front with some different lighting as well. Interesting, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't um, want to fly my 44 without the air conditioning. That kind of uh, totally makes it a family I've ship. Heard, I've heard it's a, it's pretty essential part. So now we're including it in all the R66s. Very cool, so now uh, there's a few different trims. Can you talk about the trim structure? Yes, so this is actually the mid-grade that we've got right here, and this is the R66 NXG Palo Verde. The one below this is the R66 NXG Southwood, and. The one over there, our highest grade is gonna be a Riviera, and that's got a limited availability. Um, it's only selling for 12 months. So if I go to Southwood, what am I losing versus the mid-grade? So first thing, striking paint scheme. You know, mm. from the exterior, you don't get this option. Um, this is a new paint scheme that we're offering at Robinson. A couple other things that you do lose is this one comes standard with a GDL60 uh, data link unit. And then it also has a GTN 750 standard. Uh, there are a couple other just kind of interior niceties, such as the leather wraps on the grips, and a couple other options for the trim level. You can't choose the tan option, um, but kind of minor things in comparison. And this one also is coming standard with a pilot accessory bar um, right here. I love so the pilot can, accessory bar. Uh, I say, do you use that in your oh 44? Oh my gosh, yeah, in the 44. It's okay. a, a, yeah, a, irreplaceable. We're hoping screens can supplement some of it, but may still need an iPad up there. Yep, I love an iPad. Now let's talk about the Riviera, and maybe we can make our way over that way. Sure, yeah. Okay, so we're at the Riviera. Uh, what makes this the fanciest of fancy? So first of all, exclusive paint scheme um, in that we've got our, our kind of monarch orange here. We've got a Pacific blue. And then the lighter blue that we have here is our sky blue. Um, and so this is a different three color paint scheme that was made by some, some designers. And then as well, we've also got a little bit of paint on the front here, as you can see through this blue strip. Oh yeah. Uh, just a nice touch. Um, and we'll have blue leather pa paneling on the sides and actually on the seat bases as well. Oh, and do you know what the thing is jumping out to me too? Uh, like what's going on at the floor there? So, glad you asked that. We are actually switching to uh, fabricated wood flooring on these. A little bit different from the carpet that we all know and love that has been on the Robbies in the past. I was gonna say, yeah, like I'm so used to the, the carpet that it's, that's it's really a, bit of a, a striking change. Touch. It's a bit of a change. And we'll be keeping this blue carpet will be exclusive to the Riviera edition as well. Gotcha. And a small detail, but noticeable none, nonetheless, is going to be this uh, this placard right here denoting what serial or what number of Riviera you have. Oh, that's cool. Number one. There number it is. Number one. And also, I love the color with the seatbelts. This is feeling a lot more like um, premium car space, that's, like which you might be able to do like in a Porsche or something it's, like it's that. It's a similar. It's a similar idea to that. So yeah, different seatbelt colors as well. Um, we've also got the headliner here, which is a little hard to see, is uh, going to be Alcantara wrapped instead of our standard, standard Trico that we currently use. So a little bit different, uh, a little bit more premium, nice touch, nice feel. This is actually going to be standard on this one, and the footwell lighting will be standard on this trim as well for the Riviera. Um, on the PV, you'll have the option for a halo package, which includes both this lighting and the footwell lighting. Oh, and then uh, the visors, just asking yes, about those. Yeah, yeah. So that's a, that's a new thing for Robinson as well, at least standard. Um, I know we've had some aftermarket co uh, that's companies that offer these, but these are something that we're trying to get in with our ships as well. I have the aftermarket there. version and getting it just like OEM from the factory, that's, that's super cool. Pretty nice, would be pretty nice. So 
Oh, I'm just now noticing the uh, the pattern yeah. here. That's and then these ones actually have badges on the front too. Um, oh, and then I gotta ask, uh, matching uh, luggage? Yeah, actually. Um, so this is painted the exact same uh, colors and in a bit of a similar paint scheme. So this will be offered with our Riviera. So two last questions. When do these start being delivered? We're currently targeting by next year. Um, there's a, we have to go through certification and we're hoping to be able to offer some people who've placed pre-orders um, to upgrade to the NXG if, if they want to. Um, we're still working out when we can get the serial numbers on that, but we'll try and get that information out as soon as possible. And then when will you be revealing price or is that to come? So we know? NXG base uh, Southwood will be around 1.3 million. Mm -hmm. The Palo Verde will be right around 1.4 million, um, a little bit over, probably 1.45. Mm -hmm. And this is right around 1.7 million. Uh, one last thing, I know you've got a lot of work ahead of you getting this thing out into the world, so please accept this high five. Thank you, Bam. Micah. Thanks for talking to me today. Enjoy your Verticon. So the R66 is going upscale. My question is, when are they going to do that with the R44? And more importantly, what do you guys think of it? NXG? Good? Bad? Tell us in the comments.